hi friends welcome to photo is a 91 youtube channel and in this tutorial we are going to see how to use the soulbox extrude bosom base feature tool in soulbox CAD software uh, it shows a rectangular box uh, example for showing that you say of the extrude bosom base for that create a new document that is part you want to draw a part the rectangular is a part so part file click ok then you will show you will get wait wait for a minute yeah this is the graphics area interface of the SOLIDWORKS here you can select extrude boss or base and it extrudes a sketch or selected sketch contours in one or two direction to create a solid feature okay it converts your profile to solid feature first of all you have to take select a plane here i'm going to select the top plane okay yeah top plane so automatically normal to click on the rectangle here i am selecting center rectangle because it's easy to show okay for giving dimension I'm using the smart dimension I'm giving 100 length 80 width okay before going to extrude both of base feature click exit sketch before using any feature to click exit sketch make sure that you click exit sketch then it automatically go to the extrude because at the first we selected the post extrude boss or base button okay this is the main tool how to use and uh, this is the extrude boss extrude property manager and uh, here you can give the extrusion length here i'm giving the 50 in one direction this direction one you can also go to the other direction using the direction two but no need here can also make it as a thin material by using the thin feature because you can adjust the thickness here the same thing you can do with the shell feature also but here it's not available okay this is the one and click this green button okay to make a rectangular box this is a this is the zoom view of the rectangular box and uh, for the further tutorials we can you have to save this file, part file go to file save and uh, here i'm going to make a new folder so works part file Save it as a save it as a part file. Look, this is saved as a part file. That's it. This way you can make any materials using the any material using the extra buffer base. And the, this is the first option we have to use before starting any product design. Okay. Thank you friends. I think you understand this tutorial. And uh, if you like my videos uh click like give like and subscribe my channel to get few more videos thank you friends bye bye